So if you guys have been following along for a while on Instagram or some of my recent videos, you'll have seen that I've introduced stud welding to my process. I press the trigger. <laughs> no way. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. And I've been having this lingering question. Could you powder coat something and then stud weld on the back of it without messing up the powder coating on the front? So I've got a piece here that didn't end up going into a job. Let's find out. We're working on the back of the piece. The first thing to do is going to be grind off a little bit of the powder coating so that we can put our ground clamp on. As you can see, it's warm, but it's not hot enough to affect the powder coating. So on this TWI321 from TrueWeldStudWelding.com, the ground clamp is a C-clamp, and the grounding surface is the base of the C-clamp. I'm sure some could travel through the swivel mechanism, but make sure you're using the part that's actually meant to be the ground. Now we're going to need to grind off the powder coating where we want to make our stud. We're going to do two. So the process is basically as follows. You take your stud, put it into your stud gun that's set up correctly. Boom. Place, press down, and pull the trigger. Bam. It's stud welded. It's freaking cool, isn't it? Oh. All right, the big reveal. Let's figure out if it works or not. Okay, on this one, the powder coating got a little bit tacky and it stuck to the blanket. On this one, it's perfectly fine. So I think what happened here is this one was still warm from me grinding off the powder coating and the stud was just enough to make the powder coating get tacky. So let's try one more just to confirm if that's the case. Yep, I got that one too hot anyway. So it seems like the risky part there is gonna be the actual grinding. Let's try taking the powder coat off with chemicals. Perfect. And just for fun, let's see what happens if we try one right through the powder coating. I don't think it's going to work. Yep. No dice, no ground. That's odd, all right. So this one right here also left just a little bit of discoloration on the face. That's not something I'd find acceptable. That's interesting. So it really is a 50-50. If you messed the job up and you had to have a stud on your sign, you know, something that's going flush to a wall, this would be a good way to attempt a repair before you just go to rebuild. You can see in this one down here, it's fine. You wouldn't know that's there. Maybe in a couple years it'll start to show differently, but in my experience, no. Generally, if it's okay, it's okay. This one over here got just a little bit hot. It almost looks like it could be cleaned up. And then this one, where we chemically removed the powder coat, definitely has a burn spot. So, I don't know. Might have to play around with it a little bit more. So as you all can see, Stud welding is a pretty intensive process. Everything happens real quick and all at once. And I've got to thinking about this. I think what's happening is that so much energy is going through the material that the cleaner I got the metal where the stud was going, the more heat was concentrated in one spot. And that's why it showed through on the other side. Also, this is 14 gauge cold rolled steel. So I'm going to do a follow-up video with some 12 gauge, 10 gauge, and a couple other sizes just to see if that makes any difference. Subscribe if you want to see that in the future. 
I would probably weld up a foot or some sort of plate with a stud on it and then use something like a VHB tape to attach that piece to the sign if you could. Uh, but if not, it's worth giving it a shot before you have to rebuild the whole thing or pay for powder coating again. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this bit of curiosity in the shop, and one day maybe it'll help you when you mess something up. If not, whatever. Hit that like button if you want to. Big thanks to the guys over at uh, True Weld for sending out this machine so I can play with, and maybe I can make mistakes before you have to. See you on the next one.